We've got a lot of boxes. This is already a lot of clothes. All of this stuff is dorm decor. Look at hers. I think I definitely overpacked. Gentlemen, it's that time of year again. We are going back to college. Hi there, my name is Michaela Lysak, and today we're going to pack and prep for college move-in day. We have a lot of packing to do. Move-in is in a few weeks, so I'm gonna show you all my college essentials, everything you'll need for back to school, and I even have a giveaway. Here's a little sneak peek of the giveaway. We have a laptop and a North Face backpack. <laughs> Yeah. Stay tuned till the end to see how you can win. Be sure to subscribe, like this video, and without further ado, let's get into packing. If we're going to pack to go back to college, we're gonna need some storage bins. I think this should be enough. If you're wondering how I got so many boxes, don't ask. No, I'm just kidding. My mom was actually clearing out her storage unit, so I have all these containers. I think I'm gonna start with clothes, so we should definitely use some of the larger bins. So let's take these. They're kind of dirty on the inside, so we might have to wipe them down. My dog. Sophia, come here. Come say hi to the camera. Hi. Hello. Sophia does not want to meet you. She's like... Okay, let's get to packing. I use a core water bottle cap for my dog, like in my room, so she has a little drinking water. Look at <gasps> I stepped on the water cup! Ugh, my sock. <sighs> For those of you who are packing your clothes for college, keep in mind that you're gonna have winter and spring break. So you're gonna go home. You'll always have time to exchange things and change out your clothes for the different seasons so you don't have to bring everything all at once. It's hard for me to not bring a ton of clothes. It's August, it's gonna be the fall time, and that means it's gonna be hot. It's not gonna be cold. I'm in Southern California, it's freaking hot. So I have to basically bring summer clothes, even though it pains me because I love fall clothes. Like. I want to bring crew necks and sweaters, which I will, but I can't bring that many. I'm aware that this is already a lot of clothes. And as you can see, I couldn't help but bring sweatpants and sweatshirts. Maybe a little too many. Just to fill the silent void in this video, comment down below if you're going back to middle school, high school, college, or not going back to school at all. I want to know if you're going back to school this season. I have all my trucker hats. I don't want these to get like smushed in here. So I have to kind of be careful. Like that. I'm gonna have to start a new bin because I still have more shoes. I'm bringing quite a few pairs of shoes. A lot, actually. Last year, I didn't have enough storage for my shoes and I don't think that'll be changing this year. Quick little college essential, you're going to need clothing hangers. I got these non-slip hangers from Walmart and all these hangers were $9. What? I know. I thought I could fit the hangers in here, but it's not going to work. Well, those are the hangers, but they don't fit in the bin. I will do water bottles instead. Let's do that. I got this custom tumbler from a small business online. How cute is that? I also have these shoes. I think I definitely overpacked. Next, we're gonna pack my college first aid kit. I already put some emergency. Also, my nail broke when I was packing my clothes and it ripped off and look at how damaged. Well, we have these emergency crystals, sanitizer wipes, slip that in here, mini sanitizer bottles. I love these. I will keep these in my backpack wherever I go. Advil, y'all know, ladies, you know. Dayquil and Nyquil in case I get sick. Band-Aids. Flonase, this like clears congestion in your nose. That's all I can fit into this bag, but I do have a few more things. Cough drops, fiber gummies. I also have stuff for laundry. I think I can fit some of it in here, so let's try. This is not gonna fit in there. Fit. I used all the bins except for this one and it's 
broken. Can you see the crack in that? Yeah. We need to go back down and get more bins. Let's go over dorm essentials right now. My space this year is gonna be a lot bigger. I have a kitchen and a living room and then also my dorm. Command strips and hooks, these are super important if you wanna hang up different things. I love hanging up mirrors to just open up a space and you can't like drill into the walls. So use these. I got this laundry basket from Walmart. It stands up, but it also folds down. So that's really nice for moving. You're definitely gonna need an extended outlet. Clothes hangers, these are non-slip. Storage is super essential. I got these storage cubes and they slip into little cubbies. So I also have these clear storage bins just for like makeup, pens, pencils, whatever, or even snacks, which I love putting in bins. Then I got two of these pillows. I'm not grabbing the other one because there's too much stuff around me. Honestly, it's very important to invest in your sleep for college because you really need good rest. I even have a mattress topper that's outside that I had from last year. An honestly underrated essential is a speaker. Now, you don't really think about a speaker, right? You're like, speaker, that's an essential what? I'm telling you, when you have friends over in your dorm or when you're getting ready to go out, you're with all the gals and you wanna do your makeup together and you're in your room and you're playing music from like your iPhone, you're gonna want a speaker. Trust me, I wanted one first year. So now I have one. Some headphones for studying or working out. This year I don't really need it, but shower shoes, a microwave. Check if your dorm has a microwave. So that's really it for all my college essentials. And for those of you who are new here, I thought I would give a little introduction into who I am. My name is Michaela. I'm going to USC, the University of Southern California. My major is screenwriting at the USC School of Cinematic Arts. But let's go over my classes this year. I definitely overloaded myself first year. But this year we're going with a lighter workload. I'm only taking 14 units and I have one class every day. I'm not taking any like GEs or anything. And actually for my major, it doesn't require a foreign language, which is kind of bittersweet. Like, yes, there's less work, but I've always wanted to be bilingual. In high school, I studied French for four years and I kind of feel like I'm losing that knowledge I had of the language, but I actually just started using Rosetta Stone so I can keep up with my language learning. And in case any of you want to learn a language too, Rosetta Stone is the place to go. Thank you so much to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring a portion of this video. Even though I'm learning French, there's 25 different languages that you guys can choose from. Like Italian, Italian, German, Dutch, so many. When you sign up, you can choose what level you're at with your selected language, and you can even specify your language learning goals. For me, I'm learning French for the basics and beyond. What I love about Rosetta Stone is that it schedules out your language learning week. For my plan, I only have to commit 30 minutes a day, five times a week. And in my plan, I'm gonna learn everything from people and countries, daily routines, all the basics I need in case I want to travel to Paris. And Rosetta Stone ensures you're accurately learning the language. There's a voice recognition tool that helps you perfect your accent. I have an exclusive discount for you guys. You can get the Rosetta Stone lifetime subscription discounted from $299 to $150. That's 50% off. And it gives you access to all the languages without any renewal fees. Be sure to check out the link in the description box to take advantage of this discount. And thank you so much to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this portion of the video. All of this stuff is dorm decor. Let's unbox it. I'm just now realizing I have to take all these boxes up these stairs. <sighs> Wish me luck. The hands are looking dirty. For this first one, you're gonna have to stay tuned for the dorm move-in vlog, because I'm not showing what's in here. I do not want to unbox this right now. What's this? This is from Walmart. You might be thinking, what is this? This is actually an ottoman chair. This is big. I will assemble this when I move into my dorm, so stay tuned for the move-in vlog. I bought all this stuff with my own money and I pay two-thirds of my tuition, so I don't want to hear anything in the comments. You guys already know I be paying my tuition and I work hard to pay my tuition. Okay. Oh, it's a comforter. A neon sign that I will put up in my dorm. A makeup bag. This is a cherry bath mat. Oh, I know what this is. It's crates. Pink crates. And you guys saw how many shoes I have. So I got a shoe rack. I got more plastic organizers because you can never have too much organization. Why did they need a whole box just for this? We have a hanger. I have some Starburst because I wanted to have a jar of candy people could pick from when they come into my dorm. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's gonna be so cute. 
Oh my gosh, that's a really cute print. I got a light pink throw blanket, pink bedding, storage bins, more storage bins. I didn't know I got so many storage bins. <gasps> We have more dorm decor, but this is stuff that I've already opened, so I'm gonna show you. The first category is aesthetic lighting. I have this little clam light, these LED lights. The lighting that came in my dorm was hospital vibes. So I got some LED strips. When it's nighttime and you don't want that bright, sterile light. I have this mushroom lamp. It's so cute. My friend said it looks like cauliflower. I have these string lights from last year. I really like them though. I have these vines that I hung up in my dorm last year. They're supposed to uh, light up. It doesn't work. This neon lip, it's pink. Um, and I had this in my dorm last year. I go to USC, so we got a little Trojan pennant. A little plant. I love fake plants for my dorm. This one I had last year. I have some pillows. These are very soft. I have a mini fridge. Hear me out. I know this is very small. I wanted to put like a little six pack in here. You know, some drinks when your friends are over, your girls are over. Um, of poppy, of course. I wasn't lying about the poppy. I got a whole case. I have this, you're, you can't really see it. Oh, not the, not the mushroom lamp. I have a three tiered rolling cart. And yeah, let's uh, put this all in bins. I think that is going to be it for this pack and prep vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into the rules of the giveaway. Thank you so much guys for watching this video, packing and prepping with me. I didn't forget about the giveaway. Let's get into what you guys are getting. I did some shopping. I have some stuff for next video's giveaway. Be sure to subscribe for that. But this back to school season, I've had so many amazing business opportunities and it wouldn't have been possible without you guys. And I wanna give back to you guys this back to school season. This first giveaway is back to school supplies, back to school essentials. The first item we have is this North Face backpack. It retails for I think around $80. It has some leaves and butterflies on it. It. it has a tablet sleeve, a whole bunch of zippers for storage, water bottle pouches. I'm also going to be giving away an Acer Chromebook. I'm pretty sure this retails for $200. We're in the digital age. Everything is online. I type all my essays and assignments, take notes on my computer. So one lucky person will get this laptop and also a laptop case and the charging cords. In case you're not really into taking digital notes, I have two different notebooks. These were expensive. These were $10 each. Also, I was filming a TikTok for this and I was showing the inside and then my lip hit the back of the notebook. So if you win this notebook, you got a little kiss from me a little lipstick stain i'm so sorry it's super organized in here you put the date the subject and take your notes and write all of your information in the front in case these get lost then we have some highlighters and pens these are my absolute favorite pens i use these to take notes all the time mechanical pencils these ones are really good quality and they have grips on the ends so you don't Get those little callus blisters on your fingers. It comes with lead and refillable erasers. We have some different colored sticky notes and to store all your supplies, we have this pencil pouch. I think that's everything. I have more stuff, but that's for the dorm giveaway. Stay tuned, stay tuned for that one. So here's how you enter the back to school giveaway. One, subscribe to this channel and like this video. I can check if you're subscribed. Don't play with it. Two, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, just all my other socials. And three, comment on this YouTube video what you're most excited for this back to school season and leave your Instagram handle at the top of your comment so I can message you in case you win the giveaway. Quick and important side note, do not respond to any accounts that are not my official account. I'm verified on Instagram if you don't get a message from at Michaela Lysak with the verified check mark, don't answer the message. Even if it's saying that you won or anything like that, if it's not from me, don't respond. I get the same thing on my YouTube videos. There will be scam accounts in my comments sometimes telling you that you won a prize. If it's not from my verified YouTube channel with this check mark, do not respond, do not click any links. Just be safe out there guys and be sure to look into accounts before taking any actions. But yes, those are all the rules. I'll be posting a little Instagram photo kind of showing everything that I'm gonna be giving away. And the more you interact with my posts, the better chance you have of winning. But I just wanted to give back to you guys because I wouldn't have all of these amazing blessings without you. And the next time I see you guys, I will be moving into my college dorm. Wow. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.